Hi guys! I'm back again. So I have my November BoxyCharm box to share with you guys. I was actually really impressed with this month's box, so I thought I would go ahead and share it with you. Um, I know some of you may not care about this, so you don't have to watch, but I know some people do like to see what I got. Um, so let's see. I guess the theme for this month's box was Harvest since it's like fall and all of that so oh and then I got a Natasha Denona 25% off site-wide coupon or something um, okay so let's start off with this product that I'm actually really excited to try it is by Murad and it says hydration it's a hydrodynamic ultimate moisture for eyes so it is an eye cream and I know Murad is like a more pricey brand. So this is what it looks like. Of course it looks tiny, but when you do use eye products, like eye creams or anything like that, you don't need a lot at all. So what you get should last you quite a bit. So that's what it looks like. It smells pretty nice. It smells like clean and fresh. So I definitely can't wait to give that a try. And then I also got this, who's it by? It says Pero Primero Primer, Long Wear Sticky Pigment Base. But I'm not sure of the brand. Um, I'm just assuming it's like an eyeshadow base or, you know, if you want to use pigments on your eye. That is what this bad boy is for. And then I also got this Jour Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. So it looks like this. And I know I have lipstick on right now, but I am just going to kind of take a little bit and feel... It smells slightly perfumey, but it feels really nice. Like, it, it feels like it'll feel really, really good on your lips. So that's nice. And then the next thing in the box, I got this Beauty Creations Cali Glow Palette. Oh, I goes the plastic thing. But it is this three pan highlighter palette. And I feel like this shade right here might be best suited for my skin tone. So this one is Malibu, Santa Monica, and Manhattan Beach. And I mean, if you guys want, I can do a quick swatch of it. It feels like really nice and soft oh yeah that's definitely the color I would use personally I don't think Santa Monica would be too I don't think Santa Monica would be too friendly with my skin tone but maybe it would make a really pretty eyeshadow and then even Manhattan Beach I think would be way too deep for my skin tone so I'm thinking they would grip maybe be good um, eyeshadows. This is the one that would be good for me. These two are definitely for deeper skin tones and that is a-okay. But I thought that was a pretty cool thing to get in here. Uh, a nice highlight palette. Couldn't get it back in the little sleeve. The last thing that I got I was so excited for because I've never received something like this before. It's a Natasha Denona Five eyeshadow palette and I guess this one is in like the color scheme peak I think these are so pretty and I mean even the packaging feels really nicely made so these colors are gorgeous not too sure about this cream color um, it's coming off as white with my lighting so I'm sorry 
but these shades are so freaking beautiful. If you give me just a moment, I will swatch them on the back of my hand and I'll be right back. Wow. These colors are gorgeous. This one's a little harder to see, but it is a cream color. And then this like reddish color, this brown. I'm obsessed with this shade right here and even the, the shimmery shade. These are gorgeous. They feel really, really nice. And then let's see, are there names for any of these colors? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to say them wrong, but I think, I think this shade is Aya. This shade is Jasper, Thorn, Amara, and Shine. But I was so pumped because Natasha Denona is so expensive. I could never afford even a small palette like this. Because I know the bigger palettes go for like over $100. Um, I might get cut off, but I'm going to quickly try to read. I keep getting cut off when I try and quickly read off the prices of each item. So the Natasha Denona Peak Palette was $48 for five eyeshadows. I'd never pay that. The Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes, $70. Whew. The Jouar Cosmetics Lip Enhancer, $17. The Beauty Creations Cali Glow. Highlighter palette was $14.99, and the Alamar Cosmetics Primer, oh, okay, I didn't know who that was by. I should have known by the little A up there. Um, that was $15. So, overall, um, I'm not good with math, but overall, I got a pretty good box. I'm very excited to play with this palette. I think it's beautiful. And I think the lightest shade in that highlighters palette would be really pretty on me. So maybe I will start playing with makeup again. I know I've just been doing these like natural looks with no eyeshadow, but I want to get back into it. But before I get cut off again, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you guys get BoxyCharm? What did you guys get in your box this month? And are you happy with what you got? Did we get any of the same products? Let me know down below. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.